Happy National Cheese Doodle Day. <laughs> yeah, probably better known as Cheese Puff Day, whatever you wanna call it. So I was thinking, what am I gonna do with this holiday? I thought, let's go all in. Let's actually make cheese puffs. Okay, I'm not talking about the bags of cheese puffs. I'm talking about the pastry cheese puffs. Sounds harder than it actually is. You just have to go through a little bit of a process because we're starting with pot of dough. So that sounds pretty scary, right? A pretty fancy name, but it's not that hard. It all comes together really in one pot. Speaking of, I already have my butter melted, so I really wanna get started before it browns. I mean, nothing wrong with brown butter. We just don't necessarily want it in this recipe. So I have one stick of butter. Here's what's easy about making a pot of choux, right? We've got one, one, and one. We've got one stick of butter. Yeah, it's half a cup, but we'll go one stick of butter, one cup of flour, and one cup of milk. Or you can actually use one cup of water if you'd like. So we have our butter in here now. Here's the one cup of milk. What I'm also gonna do is kinda do a little bit of seasonings right now. So I'm gonna put in, let's see, about a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then we're going to bring that to a boil. Once we bring it to a boil, we're going to immediately add the one cup of flour all at once, and it's really quickly going to start making a dough. It will pull away from the sides here. Using a wooden spoon is best here, so give this just a minute or two while this comes to a boil, then we'll move on to the next step. Our mixture is finally boiling, so I'm gonna turn it down to medium heat here, and then we're gonna add the flour and keep stirring. It's gonna quickly come together. It's going to form into a ball. It's gonna come away from the sides. That is what we want. So there we go, a cup of flour. I'm gonna stir this, stir this, really get it combined and keep stirring. I've transferred the dough into the bowl here for the mixer. I started mixing it a little bit. Steam was just rising off of it, trying to cool it down and speed up the process. So we're gonna add four eggs now, and I'm gonna do it one at a time, and again, slowly to make sure that we're not scrambling the eggs. Okay, I think all of our eggs are incorporated now. Now, let's talk cheese. These are cheese puffs, right? So you can use really any kind of sharp, I would say, aged cheese in this, sharp cheddar, that's fine. I love Gruyere uh, when it comes to cheese puffs. So I just got a block and I grated it myself about a cup or so. This is a very heavy heaping cup of cheese, but I'm gonna make it really, really cheesy. You definitely wanna do that. If you buy the store-bought shredded cheese, again, it has a little bit of a coating that makes it harder to melt and incorporate, so you definitely don't wanna do that. Our dough is looking so nice. I'm gonna sprinkle the cheese in here and really just mix it together, just get everything incorporated. Okay, we've got an ooey gooey sticky dough. That is what you want. Give me a moment to get it all together to make it a little bit easier to scoop and then we'll put it here on our pan. You can line a pan with parchment paper or silicone mat. By the way, I have the oven preheating to 425 degrees. Before I pop them in though, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we're gonna bake them. But for now, let me get this dough together and we'll move on to our next step. Let's see now if we can scoop some of our cheese puffs out. Now, a lot of people will do this with a pastry bag or something like that, absolutely. This just is a lot easier. Um, it takes less time, you get the same outcome. So these are, by the way, you know, a little bit of shortcut cheese puffs, which I am totally fine with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a cheese puff all along here, and then, remember we talked about it that being National Cheese Puff Day and I mentioned these? I found sort of a fun way to give a little nod to that. We're gonna talk about that when it comes to a little topping once I get these all lined up on the cookie sheet. Our cheese puffs are all lined up here on our cookie sheet, ready to go into the oven. But before we do that, we're gonna to top them with a little bit of egg wash. That will make them nice and shiny. You can absolutely leave it like that. You've got your cheese already incorporated, right? But back to those cheese puffs, we're gonna sprinkle a little dusting of cheese puffs on top and really pump up the cheese factor to make these cheese puffs. All I did was take some of these, whatever your favorite kind of cheese puff is, I put them into a little bag, rolled them out with my grandmother's rolling pin and got it into a nice little, um, I guess, dusting of cheese puff that we're gonna put on top. So I have just one egg that I've scrambled up a little bit in here and we're just gonna put this on top and then take a little bit of cheese puffs, and you can be heavy handed here. Put it all on top, pat it down, why not? All right, I'm gonna do that to all of them, 
and then I'm gonna pop them into that oven again at 425 for 10 minutes. After that, we're gonna crank it down to 350 and then bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes or so and keep an eye on it. But with this sort of dough that we started with, that pot of dough, that's how you wanna bake it. That's how we're gonna get it nice and airy and fluffy inside. Our cheese puffs are done. Out of the oven, cooled, ready to eat to celebrate National Cheese Doodle Day. Let's see if we can just sort of take a look at how it looks inside. If you can see, it's just layers and layers and very light and airy. These are so good and scrumptious, they will just melt in your mouth. I hope you give them a try. These are great cheese puffs. Cheers.